In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us humbly call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Kyrie eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I, whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then I will trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, 
where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil, made from genuine aromatic nard, and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of the disciples, and the one who would betray him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Today's Gospel, according to John, if you pay very close attention, is very similar to the Passion Gospel that we heard yesterday from the Gospel of Mark. I trace three connections between today's Gospel and yesterday's Gospel. Today we heard that Mary took the costly perfumed oil and what did she do with it? She anointed the feet of Jesus and dried it with her hair. Yesterday, in the Gospel of Mark, we heard about a woman who broke an alabaster jar. It didn't say the feet, but where did she break the alabaster jar? Over the head of Jesus. Very likely the same Mary. And then today, we heard Judas say, this could have been sold for 300 uh, days' wages given to the poor. Yesterday, we didn't hear the name of Judas saying that, but some people said, why was this not sold to give to the poor? Finally, the last uh, connection. Today, Jesus says, the poor you will always half with you, but me, I will not always be with you. And yesterday, Jesus said the same thing. Three connections from today's gospel according to John and yesterday's gospel according to Mark. Here's what we're seeing. With the woman, Mary, breaking the oil, she's preparing him for what? His burial anointing him for his burial. Judas, what is he about to do? He's about to betray Jesus. And Jesus saying, you will not have me with you for much longer. He's soon going to die on the cross. Everything is leading to the passion, crucifixion, and death of Jesus on Good Friday. So as we meditate on these gospel readings, we enter deeply into the mystery of Jesus' passion and death so as to share with him the glory of the resurrection. Now stand as we lift up our prayers and our intentions to the Lord. 
for church leaders and all who faithfully serve. May God bless them with strength as they lead the flock entrusted to them by God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public authorities, may the Holy Spirit guide them in their efforts protecting the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle with fear or depression, may God's never-ending love bring them healing and consolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this assembly, may the graces of this sacrament inspire us as we go forth filled with the glory of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the light of faith, may they experience the freedom of God's mercy. And today we pray for the repose of the soul of Raul Belsuzari. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, as we begin this most holiest of all weeks, may we share in the passion, crucifixion, and death of Jesus so as to share also in his resurrection. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion, 
and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaot, plenis uncelli et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, Qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Tang, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all your saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, Informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata muldi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata muldi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. faithful to your commandment. As we come forward to receive Jesus in Holy Communion, we unite ourselves with his passion, crucifixion, and death on the cross who has to share with him in his resurrection. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
communion and to fun. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me on the day when I call. Speedily answer me. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Visit your people, <clears throat> O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, <clears throat> look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. One brief announcement before the final blessing. Right at the uh, Christ Cathedral will be the uh, Chrism Mass. I don't know how many people here have heard of the Chrism Mass before. If, okay. So for those who haven't heard of the Chrism Mass, it's the Mass when all the bishops with all of the priests in the whole diocese gather together for the Mass to uh, renew our promises at our ordination. At that Mass, we also bless all the oils that will be used during the whole year so the oils that you see over there in the little corner, and all the parishes will bless all those oils at this Mass. And it's a beautiful Mass where we see the unity of the whole church, all the priests, all the bishops with the lay people. Um, I'd like to extend a cordial invitation to you. If, that's, if you're free and you'd like to attend, it's going to be tonight at the Christ Cathedral at 5.30 p.m. And if you go, you're going to see uh, priests that you already know, priests that have been here. You're going to see Father Bao. Uh, Father Nicholas, Father Michael, Father Arialdo, and the three of us, the three priests that are here, will also be going. So just wanted to let you guys know about the Chrism Mass this evening, 5.30 at the Christ Cathedral, and you and your family members and friends are most welcome to attend that Mass. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. 